Hello friends, welcome to Susana at Home. My name is Susana and welcome. As you know, I recently had a hysterectomy. This upcoming Wednesday is going to be seven weeks after my hysterectomy. I feel a lot better. I feel better, a little bit better every day and I'm somewhat back to my normal life. Not completely. My energy is not quite there, but I'm working on that. And today I wanted to show you our food bank haul that we got yesterday. It's a very small clip. I did not film much at all, but it'll be, um, it'll be something to show you and it'll be right here. This is the food bank haul. We got a strawberries, limes, some chips, uh, tomatoes in the vine, kale, some more snacks, potatoes, canned vegetables, fish sticks, um, colored bell peppers, some frozen strawberries, some pomegranate fruit. That was delicious, by the way. And uh, what else? All of that you see. That was our haul. So it was a wonderful haul. I'm going to be able to make many, many uh, meals out of this. It was a great haul very blessed this bag of cherries also came in this haul and this is a short clip of my husband making ice cream using this um, little machine that we got at a garage sale at the beginning of this year it was a great find this thing turns your frozen fruit into like a sherbet ice cream it was really really delicious okay and today is monday and I wanted to bring you along and show you, hopefully I'll be able to film, I'll have energy to film all my dinners for this week. Um, it was not a huge clip. I know you guys didn't see a whole lot, but, uh, but I'll tell you. Um, I'll remember to tell you everything that came from that uh, food, food haul. This morning, my plan is to get ready for my week. So I'm cooking up some, um, I mean, let me bring you to my stove and show you. Okay, so the plan is to go ahead and cook up four pounds of pinto beans, and this is it right here. They're cooking away. That way I'll have that for the whole week. And then I've also cooked up some potatoes by the way those beans and these potatoes are from the food bank these are uh, small potatoes and what i'll be doing with this i'll be cooking these up with a red chili sauce and serve as a side for tonight and then i also have some more potatoes in my slow cooker these are going to be cooking slow for four hours maybe and these I'm going to reserve for the whole week. I'll be using these in lunches, um, some breakfast for the weekend. And then I'm also going to be baking some sweet potatoes. We got these sweet potatoes. These were from uh, this past food bank. And these over here were from the previous. I did also have a couple of russet potatoes, which I'm going to go ahead and bake with along with those. And those are going to be also as a side. And then for the protein, I'll be, I'll be cooking up or baking these um, pork ribs in the oven. These are not from the food bank. These we I purchased the other day. I went grocery shopping. At Chum Thum, they had a sale going on for $1.99 a pound, so I bought a few of these. And then chicken breast, uh, chicken breast was also on sale for $1.49, so I also got some of that. And what else did I get? Mm, I think that's it. I want to think about something else, but I just can't think of it right now i believe that was it just the chicken and um oh i remember 
I also bought, they also had on sale the beef, um, beef roast. So I bought a couple of those. Those were on sale for like, I want to say $3.99. As you know, now prices are, you know, up in the air, really, really high, expensive. So I try to buy our meat, our protein when it's, um, on sale and I buy quite a bit to stock up and those are some of the lemons actually the lemons that we got in these past um, food bank so I'm gonna cook this up and then show you when everything is ready I'm almost done these are my potatoes these are the ones that I'm gonna be uh, saving for the week and using for either cooking and dinners or breakfast, lunches, you know, whatever <clears throat> I need. And these are my sweet potatoes. These are my two um, russet potatoes and the rest of them are the sweet potatoes. They are yummy. I also prepared a cucumber salad. This one, it's a new one to us. I have never made it. I've tasted it, and it's really yummy, very fresh, definitely. A good dish for, for the summer, I think. These are my potatoes in red chili salsa. It's not spicy at all. The chili that I used is the dried chili ancho, which simply gives it a color. They're completely cooked. I'm just letting them boil and um, um, take um, have the potatoes take in that flavor from the chili. And my beans are completely cooked also. So I have those for the entire week to cook and use as sides with other dishes this week. And these are my ribs right here. They're looking really yummy. They're already tender and they're already getting um, brown color, so they're almost done. I'll show you how I will plate this. This is my husband's plate right here. Cucumber salad, pork ribs, beans, and potatoes and red chili salsa. It's really yummy. This is my husband's lunch for today. It's basically just diced potatoes with egg on an oatmeal tortilla. Very simple lunch. And today is Tuesday. I'm getting ready to make my dinner. I'm thinking that for dinner, I'm going to serve some leftovers from yesterday. I still have a little bit of um, pork ribs, uh, some potatoes. So I'm going to do that along with a macaroni and cheese. This is what I'm going to be using, some elbow pasta and the uh, Philadelphia cheese, the knockoff. I'm also going to be using some, some of this cream cheese and some some of this cottage cheese i'm going to be blending all of that mixing mixing it um, adding a little bit of salt and that's going to be the cheese sauce for my macaroni for myself i've decided to go ahead and do cheesy cauliflower um, I had a couple bags in the freezer also came from the food bank. So I'm going to be doing this along with a little bit of the cheese sauce that I've prepared for the macaroni. It'll be really yum. This is the cheese sauce for my macaroni. And this is my cauliflower. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of the cheese sauce to this. So it'll be like cheesy cauliflower. It'll be my macaroni since I, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to eat any pasta, <clears throat> just carbohydrates in general. And this is done. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and put it aside and 
this is going to be ready. My macaroni is pretty much done. So, this is it. This is what my kids are going to be having for dinner later tonight. Some macaroni with potatoes and oh also since I do have just a little bit left over of the ribs, pork ribs, um, I'm going to be pulling out those fish sticks that we got in our previous food bank haul. So that's going to make dinner. And then this is my broccoli, cheesy broccoli for myself. Here I'm preparing the fish sticks. They're completely frozen right now. I'm going to stick them in the air fryer and uh, get them ready. And this is our dinner for tonight. The fish sticks are ready. <clears throat> Some of the leftovers from the night before, potatoes and the ribs. And this is my portion. It was a delicious dinner, by the way. This is our dinner for Wednesday night. It's just basically spaghetti with a cabbage salad that I had in my freezer. And then I also prepared some chicken breast. <clears throat> and um, this is what it looks like. My family really enjoyed it. Good morning, friends. Today is Thursday. It is pretty early in the morning. It's 6.16 right now. AM, my kids are getting ready to go to school and I have some errands to to run right after I drop them off so and I won't be home for a few hours so I was thinking to go ahead and start dinner right now in my crock pot I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I'm gonna be doing okay so I'm back from um running some errands and this is what the chicken is looking like i used um i seasoned it with this it's a korean barbecue marinade <clears throat> it says it's for beef but i'm gonna use it here i'm gonna go ahead and uh shred the meat add some carrots shredded carrots and then i'm gonna serve it over white rice and that's gonna be dinner and this is some shredded carrots that I had in my freezer, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump this in here so they can, can so they can start cooking. This is my chicken broth right here, chicken liquid. And then this is my chicken. I'm going to go ahead and shred it up. And then to my um chicken broth i'm gonna do i made a slurry it's basically just one tablespoon of cornstarch with water that's all this is what i want is to go ahead and um, give it a little more thickness to this and that's gonna that's gonna help me with that so i'm gonna mix and then add the chicken So I'm, I changed my mind. I'm not going to use um, all the chicken. I'm saving the breast for another day. And I'm going to be using the remaining. Tonight it's only going to be four of us. So, not four, five, sorry. So this is going to be plenty for us. It's almost time for my uh, to go pick up my kids from school. So I'm going to go ahead and get my rice cooking. I'm going to be using a little bit of sesame oil in here. Just a tiny bit, maybe half a teaspoon. Not much at all. I have washed and drained my rice. That's one pound. That is roughly about two cups of rice. And then I'm going to be using 
two cups of water, just plain water. And I'm gonna let it cook. And dinner is, is ready. The rice is ready and we are finally ready to have dinner. It's amazing how much a slow cooker can help you when you just don't have the time to be in the kitchen. This chicken turned out really, really nice. The, the broth really flavored the plain rice because as you saw, I didn't use any salt whatsoever and yet it was perfect. Hello guys, and this is Friday. I'm going to be making some pork with potatoes and red salsa. I seasoned my pork, it's very simple, just salt, garlic, and pepper. And I'm gonna be using those small peppers to make the salsa. I'm going to be using those potatoes that I prepared the beginning of this week. Remember, I cooked quite a bit of potatoes. Well, they're going to be uh, used in this uh, in, today, in today's dinner. My salsa, it's basically just uh, the chili, some tomatoes, garlic, and one cube of uh, chicken bouillon. And that's going to be the salsa. That's all that's in that. Um, a little bit of water to help it blend and um, that's it I'm gonna be serving this with a side of plain white rice I had a little bit of rice left over from the day before so that's what we're gonna be doing for this night and this dish turned out really nice. It was also very delicious. We really enjoyed it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are in need of food, supplementing your food budget, please visit one of your local food pantries. That's what they're for. Uh, please take advantage of that. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next. God bless you and take care. Goodbye.